need to lift your light up a little bit more on top, yeah. No, too much on top, yeah. Ooh, getting nice and sparkly. Isn't that just great? Yeah. I mean, landscape. But, Clark, I mean, Okay, uh, the sulfuric acid is a catalyst. Nah, I'll just explain when I make the video. Okay, okay here goes. Alright, I might as well stand back a little further since you don't have goggles on. It's like the creature from the black looking. Yeah. It did look very tentacle like. Okay, so this is lead nitrate, and lead nitrate is just a white solid. So that's lead nitrate and potassium iodide, potassium iodide is just a white solid. Thank you. Oh, that's it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this clear liquid is lead nitrate, it, you can see that it's dissolved, you can't see it, so it's solid lead nitrate dissolved in water, aqueous lead nitrate. And then this is, uh, also this clear liquid, is solid Ki dissolved in water, so aqueous potassium iodide. And I'm going to put the two together. 
And that is the reaction. Very nice. See ya. All right, uh, so this is ethyl alcohol. I poured some in here, uh, 20 milliliters. I'm going to pour it in this uh, jug. And I'm going to cover it. I'm not going to shake it because I want the alcohol in vapor form and alcohol evaporates quite readily, it's volatile. Uh, takes a little while, does take a little while. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do in terms of combustion, the cardboard of the match is made out of a polymer of glucose. So the, uh, so that's combining with the air in the, I'm com that's combining with the oxygen in the air. I'm not gonna use it to light a match. The wick is also made out of, uh, it's made out of cotton, which is also a polymer of glucose. And the wax itself is just a hydrocarbon. There's no oxygen. Wax is averages about C24H50. So that's another combustion reaction. And now a third combustion reaction, uh, the uh, much of the alcohol that I put in the bottle here is now in the vapor form and has mixed with the oxygen that was already in the bottle. And so we'll see what happens when I drop the lit candle in there. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Okay. okay, are we done now? Yeah. Alright, so we have a mass for the uh, zinc, that's the zinc of 15.17 grams, and mass of the sulfur is 8.32 grams. So uh, we're going to put the zinc and the sulfur together. That is zinc and sulfur mixed together. Isn't that the most incredible thing you've ever seen? All right. Is there any way we could make this even more interesting? Ah, let's come over to the hood. I'm gonna put this right here. What we're gonna do is increase the temperature of that by a lot by putting a red hot piece of iron on top of it. And once it's start, I'm gonna put it on the uh, top of the zinc and sulfur and see if anything interesting happens. I should have done that in a slow-mo. Turn on the hood.